It's no use. He's out to kill us. Yeah, we should have been ready for this. We should have had something on him. Is it too late? It's up to the boss. Oh, there's about as much scandal in this family as there is in the kindergarten. The daughter's not so pure. Been mixed up in some jams with some well-established creeps. Yeah, we should have been watching her. The kid's not our enemy. Why go after her? All right, come on, boys. Let's go. have to be here. Uniform dresses up in a fair, don't you think? Couldn't you find a Republican general? Oh, Claire invited him. Why didn't she stick to her own crowd? We stick to her. We could have slaughtered Skeppington carrying on an open affair with any other woman. Nobody cares anymore, Amos. Even the Irish Catholics forgave him. Yeah. She wasn't having much fun, Norman. I guess you'd know. You and she are much alike. Fatal weakness for the same sort of men. Oh, I don't know. I liked her cab driver. I didn't like her bartender bouncer or whatever he was. Not what choices. Skeffington's in the same category of people, believe me. Skeffington? Really? Who else? Generally, people we wouldn't allow on the grounds of this club. That's not a category, Norman. Shy a few hundred, that's the whole world, isn't it? Everything in your background and Prudy's was calculated to prevent... N Norman, you and I are not going to enjoy each other's company tonight, and I want to offer you a little advice. If you want a woman to believe the man she loves is bad, don't lose your temper. Just show her someone better. I saw Frank on TV. He looked great. Real champion. Ready to go again, huh? Never readier, Mr. Morrow. Anything I could do for you? I see somebody. But, uh, maybe I should lay off. What? Dancing. Terrific white dress. Looks like it might come off any minute. I hear the maitre d' call the guy Mr. Neron. Uh, she calls him Ralph. So that it makes Ralph Neron, I guess. Should I worry about him? Yeah, you should worry about him. Friend of yours? No, he's my nephew. <laughs> What you've been hoping for. Skeffington could never remarry out of his own class. His party wouldn't let him. How long have you known this, Neff? I could have told you years ago. And you waited till now that I'm over the hill? Gang of saloon keepers, ward healers, and their wives. Could have turned them like a pack of wild dogs. Heavy conversations really murder on the dance floor. No, looking back, I, I, I uh, think I've handled it pretty well. I've kept out of it. Oh, you've done beautifully, man. Don't change a thing. Why don't you marry Norman? Whenever I think of Norman, which isn't very often, I still think of him as our sister's husband. She doesn't care, and I don't care. I'm squeamish. Squeamish? That sounds kind of funny, coming from a politician's call, girl.
Am I anything like a call girl? Well, if, um, certain appropriate endowments. And I've responded to some calls over the years, haven't I? Calls? Well, I don't think that's the test. Um, it's, it's the variety of experience. Shall we examine my variety of experience? No, please, don't. What's the genesis of this? That's well, just an idle thought. Think productive. All right. I would like to make a campaign contribution. Because I know Norman has hurt you. And General Fairborn says you're broke. Oh. Well, where the hell's his contribution? Don't expect one. He invited me to join his encounter group. What? It meets weekends in various jacuzzis, découverts. I declined. The general's eyes turned vermilion. He said he hates you and hopes the Republicans beat you to a fine powder. Mm. So your charms cost me a loyal supporter. I will never again dance with a Democrat. It shows wisdom. Unless he's nice enough to take a bath with. Female wisdom. Would you accept a female check? No. If you want to help, why don't you suggest some way we can turn Norman Cass around? I could always marry him. It's too drastic. Oh. Isn't there some skeleton in the family closet that I could drag out and rattle in front of him? None that I can think of. But it's certainly a jolly rotten thought equal to your worst. I warn you, I can't take criticism tonight, only total acceptance. I will promise you nothing. Then I better call a taxi. Then I better call General Fairborn. Huh. You win. Of course. I'm a born winner. You look nice. like a kid going to his first day of school. Because you're pushing me around like I was a kid. But with love. <laughs> no, I'll park, I'll wait. Yes, I see. Yes, well, thank you. Uh, you tell Mrs. Minahan that I'll be calling her, will you please? Bye-bye. Jimmy died early this morning. He'll be awake at his home tomorrow night, and uh, we'll all be there. We're doing it for grace. Frank, we got that meeting with the ward captain, you know. All right, we'll uh, have the meeting at the wake. No harm in that dinner, is there? No harm at all, you want it. And Jimmy Minahan can be trusted not to breathe a word. He hears. <laughs> yeah, you help Mrs. Minahan, huh? I'll stop making the arrangements. Well, what do you say, boys? Want to join me in a little smile no, over here? No, 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 no. Uh, look, you, you were saying, John, about Bat Collins. Yeah, I think he's willing to listen, but uh, you better talk to him, Frank. All right. I think I've got a deal for him, just to bring him along to the wake. Okay. See where Ward Chase is announcing? <laughs> That's the first laugh of the day. The head of Planned Parenthood in this town. <laughs> I'd sooner be an Arab running in Miami. Ah, come on, boys, for heaven's sake. You're like the guest at Maggie Foley's wedding. Talk about everything but the one ugly fact. And what's that fact, John? The bride's enormous behind. <laughs> well, all right, John, come on, let's talk about it. Well, let's talk about our own, because we've got nothing behind us at all. Barely 20,000 in the bank. Oh, well. No, I'm serious, Frank. Now, we will not have 18 wards coming in. Garvey and Nucatoli between them should bring in nine. You'll get the remaining ten. But without money, you can't hope to win more, and you could drop a couple, which would be your finish, my boy. Come on, John. If I can't take ten wards, I shouldn't be on it. Oh, you can. You can, I know, Frank. But just let's hope that nothing unusual happens, because we've got nothing unusual to fight it with. Yeah, well... Excuse me. Ah. Hello, Bob. 
Come on in, come on in. We'll, we'll be going, Frank. No, don't break things up. I just came by to drop off a piece of news. Well, what a nice surprise. Now, I just want to say that you're going to be a grandfather. A grandfather? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That's terrific, Frank. Grandpa, <laughs> drop off a piece of news. Boy, you just created an occasion. You know, get a bottle of bubbles out of the ice cream. I don't want to hear any arguments from any of you. I want to see every man here with a glass of champagne in his hand. And then I want to hear that announcement again, with full details. <laughs>